I've been waiting rather patiently for these to arrive and I think you're going to enjoy them too. The shape of the box probably gives it away and the logo certainly does. Yes, I have a brand new set of Envy wheels here. And when I say brand new, I literally mean released today. But the big bit of news about these wheels is in fact their price point. These form part of their new, more excessively priced collection without compromising the quality. I'll explain more in a moment because it's time to get unboxing. All right, here we have it, the brand new MB65 wheel set. As the name suggests, 65 mil rim depth, both front and rear, but I'm gonna be explaining a little bit more about the rim depth and profile later on in this video. I'm also going to be giving away a set of these wheels. If you're interested, and I'd say you're mad if you're not, stay tuned until the end of this video so that you can find out how you can get your hands on a set of these wheels. And these wheels also form part of the new foundation collection, which has been launched today as well. As part of that, we've also got the NV45, which is a 45 mil rim depth wheel set for the road. And we've also got the AM30s, which is a mountain bike wheel set. So what is this foundation collection and what are these wheels all about? Well, essentially they are targeted at the slightly more value conscious out there. Those that are looking for a more accessible price point while still being performance orientated. I guess you could liken this a little bit to Shimano Ultegra. Still a superb group set, but considerably cheaper than Jira Ace. And that's what we've got here really. This wheel set, the MV65, comes in at 1600 US dollars. When we compare that to the top of the range and very popular MV SES 7.8 wheel set that comes in at 2,550 US dollars. So you see what I mean. But despite this cost saving, you're still getting an exceptional wheel set. And that is where this name, the Foundation Collection, comes from. Because when Envy were looking to create and develop this slightly lower budget wheel set and range, they took a look at their top of the range, the SES collection, and they picked out some core fundamental and foundational elements and features in those wheels that they felt everyone deserved regardless of the price point. And I'm going to run through some of those features today starting with the molded spoke and valve stem holes. Now this is actually something I was totally unaware of with MV wheels. I've been riding on MVs for years. I can confirm they're incredibly stiff and a lovely ride. I just didn't know why. Now obviously there are a number of facts at play here that contribute to this but one of which is the valve holes. Now Envy have actually been molding their valve holes since day one rather than drilling them. What does this mean? Well, essentially when carbon fiber is laid down, the plies are all crisscrossing into one another. If you then just drill down through that, you are disrupting the integrity and the strength of it. So what you see some manufacturers doing is then they add extra material in and around that to strengthen it back up or maybe adding a washer in. What Envy does is they actually mold the spoke hole. So then you can end up with the carbon fiber being laid down in a continuous and undisrupted pattern. That not only makes it stronger, but also lighter because they're not having to add extra material. Pretty interesting stuff. But now my next foundational feature is actually on the rims leading edge just here. Yep, this is their anti-pinch flat protection, which they're pretty proud of because they are the only ones doing this. Basically, the idea here is that they have increased the width of the rim's leading edge. The idea here is that by increasing the surface area of this leading edge, it will dissipate the impact that will prevent a flat. Also, by doing that, actually makes this a little bit more resilient to impact and you can run slightly lower tire pressures. But now let's talk aerodynamics. Well, this is something that Envy are renowned for, particularly so in the SES range, and something they weren't prepared to let go for the foundation collection either. Now, Envy have had a long time partnership and worked very closely with Simon Smart, who's based here in the UK, and he has helped with their aerodynamic testing and also with the design, the rim shaping and profile. So when these wheels came along, they did, of course, go into the wind tunnel with Simon Smart, but they were tested at both 20 and 40 miles per hour. Now the standard by most brands is to test at 40 miles per hour, but let's be honest, how many of us really ride at 40 miles an hour that often? Yeah, so Envy were keen to put it through a more realistic test. So they went through at 20 miles an hour and also at zero, five, 10, and obviously 15 degree yaw angles. 
but I will explain a little bit more about the rim shaping and profile later on in this video. But now let's move on to tubeless. Now simply put, Envy believes that the performance tubeless can provide pretty much makes it foundational across all its wheels. So both the 45 and the 65 now come with a 21 mil internal rim width and this hookless bead profile design, which kind of makes it just completely flat inside. And that in turn offers this anti-pinch flat protection that I was talking about before. Now, some of you may well know that it gets quite confusing with all these different tubeless tires and which are compatible with which wheels. Now, Envy has tried to help out here. They've made their own sort of qualification process and testing to find out which ones work the best. So you head on over to their website to make sure that you get the optimum setup. Now let's quickly just run through the last couple of features within this foundation collection. Now one of which is, which sort of stands across all their wheels and will do also in this foundation collection, is that all the wheels will be handmade and then also hand assembled with rigorous testing. And then also we have this, comes on all the wheels. MV warranty and lifetime instant protection. Yeah, all the wheels will be covered in instant protection. So say you crash your bike and you break the wheels or maybe you leave the wheel behind your car and reverse over it, that will be covered in the instant protection for life. And then the warranty is for five years that covers any sort of manufacturing issues and errors, which is pretty cool, a really nice bit of peace of mind. So let's go back to this specific wheel here, the MB65. Now off the back of countless data that they've collected over the years that has allowed them to produce the SES line, they've kind of taken an average cross-section of all that data to help them produce this wheel and of course the 45 in terms of its rim shape and its profile. Now what this does mean though, unlike the SES range, both the front and the rear in the 45 and the 65 are the same shape, the same depth and the same profile. And it is these sort of areas that have allowed this wheel to be priced slightly lower. Obviously tooling costs, manufacturing costs are lower. You haven't had to put a front and a rear wheel through a wind tunnel for testing, but it still performs incredibly. So much so in fact, that when they put the SES 7.8 wheel up against the 65, it's only 1.8 watts in it. And that's sort of why I've got the wheel here today because the 65 is actually fastest of the collection for the type of racing that we would be doing as triathletes. And it's what they have considered the optimum depth in terms of its aerodynamics versus the weight for the sort of speeds that we'd be traveling at. Now obviously I could talk aerodynamics for days because, well, Envy have been very open with the data they've collected through their testing. It's actually really impressive to see this wheel up against slightly higher priced wheels on the market. But I'm gonna stop now before I bore you all and let's talk about the hubs. Well, all the guts are pretty much identical to that of the premium hub. They have simplified the machining process ever so slightly for the shell of the hub. They've also, rather than using stainless steel bearings they use in the premium hub, they're using premium NTN steel bearings. But despite all of that, apparently they do compare to that with the Chris King R45 and the DT Swiss 240. But bringing all of that together as a wheel set, they come in at, well, for the MV65, 1,621 grams. And for any MV fans out there, that sits somewhere between the SES 5.6 and the 7.8. And it is worth pointing out here, actually, that they are only available in disc brake option. Now, if there's one thing that you take away from this video, it's this, it's that these wheels are not just repurposed old NV technology, no. This is the latest research, testing, and technology available from NV, just in a slightly cheaper and more efficiently produced package and without compromising on performance. And this is the point that you could get your hands on a set of these wheels. Yet yeah, we're handing out, giving away a set of these wheels to get involved, you just need to go down to the description below this video, click on that link, that's gonna take you over to a webpage, fill in all your details, and answer the question that's relevant to these wheels to date. Best of luck to you, I think this may well be the best prize to date on GTN. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a like, and if you'd like to see more from GTN, make sure you subscribe to GTN across all our social media channels. Thank you very much.